បាទជ្រាបសួរបងប្រុសម៉ៃកូបាទអាឡូវនេះពួកខ្ញុំទាំងពីរនេះបងតាក់នេះគឺកំពុងតែថិតនៅលើទុកដ៏បងបាទហើ
so I even myself too like to see her every month how she doing and we work as a team at Buwat and Butak at Cambodia so I live in the United States so we just uh, working from overseas but we still very close together we just get video every day so we discuss and we uh, meet each other by FaceTime every day to discuss what is the problem stuck in the way, but uh, kind of everything this a while is going very well. So nothing get in the way because they're having a hard what I have it from here too. It's not so different from overseas to Cambodia, so we got the same thinking, we got the same heart. Can it be much together? Like mix water with water is okay, don't mix with the oil. They can be separately, cannot mix together. So, kind of this young man, like Putak, his real name is Pip. He's a good guy, so he helped out. And the wood, he's a little older, he's 42. And so Pip, he is about 32. He is a young guy, so he helped with the charity work uh, to make things happen. So we just start little. I believe take a small step can make a big impact. But it's working now, but I'm pretty busy. So I put a lot of my time into it to help them out and to go one family by one family. So we help old people. We help uh, homeless children. We help people who getting sick, and we help people who willing to break through the poverty of life and to start a little business. We spend about a couple hundred dollar, but uh, we get over here spread uh, all over place too, in the United States or to Canada, France, or in Australia too like New Zealand, Switzerland too, like the Cambodian people live there. So they saw this video, they feel so much compassion and sorry about them because they used to live in Cambodia too. They are Cambodian, so they understand very well how those people are living in uh, poverty life and didn't have uh, much food, much money, clothes, shelter, and medical care too. They really don't have anything much. So that we put in our time and our heart to focus on this job and kind of be getting better to help them out. But it's so many of them, but we cannot help them all, but we just do some part that we can help. And then everything just uh, going all right and going okay and going better and better and better, but we need some uh, one supporting us, like get the sponsor, like you can contribute the money, $10, $15, help all those children. So it's uh, best because we live in here that we have everything more than we need. So I'm just thinking about them, like my food left over, I just trash it. So what should I do? And then just, you know, just share. It means it share the food, shares everything you have, but we just use the money is a lot easier than uh, using the cloud or sending the cloud overseas, very expensive. So if send money, if the fees cost it less, but we got the partner or my team over there, we can trust in them. So uh, these two guys I hang with them for many years and then uh, not saying to be break up, so they got a heart, and we just team up together to help them out. But we have been helped a lot of family, almost 500 cases that we have been helping. So it's not long ago, it's about less than a year, so we got the ideas. We do the YouTube, but we just got some idea to do something to spread the information, and then we got some uh, good content to share to the world too and people like to share to the poor who need it and it is a great gift to give to who need it and then it's a wonderful gift it's a generous gift it's an awesome gift just so awesome you know just give something to people just you know donate to people and this is the charity work we just get out of our mind with the subconscious like they have 
a lot of compassion and kindly heart uh, to give to people. Uh, of course, the money earning hard, but if we have the heart that the money is from our heart, um, from our thinking, like we try to save the world, bring, bring peace to the world, but a small step can make a big difference. Just take the little by little. We don't want to do the, you know, like a, a big movement, but we just start from a small, like the wave, or uh, like ripple effect. It's just one drop, the effect everywhere. So uh, really awesome right now, and really great job that they, that two guys over at Cambodia did, but I uh, helped them out here too, work so hard, and with my time after work, I just try to do video and have meeting, FaceTime, it's a lot of work. It's not easy, but work without any income, work without any earning money, work without limit of the time, and sometimes the, the coming is real rude too. But it's okay. Their right to sing, their right to write, their right to uh, come in. That's up to them. Because uh, karma is causing an effect, and sing turn around, you know, come around, turn around. Not saying to worry about them. They just say it one time. So um, each time we were going to give some a great gift to Grandma Ngo. <laughs> She will be so happy, so she's not going to live longer, so she's almost 80 years old, like my grandma too. I used to uh, remember my grandma, but I just so little, uh, I think about uh, two years old or three years old, I still remember my grandma passed away. After that, I before I got to the United States, uh, we used to be very poor too, and my mom very skinny because we didn't have enough food, enough healthy stuff, you know, not things around. We just try to survive searching some food, whatever we can, just sleep on uh, the ground. And then we just get some hay, just make our bed and sleep there. And we got, if we're lucky, we got some mosquito net to protection from mosquito. So if we're lucky, we got one. We don't get the mattress like in the United States. We don't have the car to drive like in the United States. We don't have so many shoes or pair of shoes to wear in the United States. And we don't have so much clothes that we have hang in the closet. And we just piling up. And then we want to donate to some place that they put like, you know, kind of the, the box kind of metal box in there, and we can throw shoe or clothes or everything in there. My daughter, she pack up, she just throw away a lot sometimes. She just get lazy, you know, she just trust it. So I just look back and then feel so much sorry about them, and I know exactly what's going on. Just, uh, right now, I get older. I don't want anything. When I die, I'm not going to take anything with them. So. I just try to share whatever I have to them as possible I can. So just fifteen dollar month or twenty dollar month, but the seven months we will raise a little money. So we got four sponsors. A twenty dollar month, we will get eighty dollar month. But uh, it's not a whole lot. But uh, for poor like her, that's a lot of money for her. But uh, can help her out with her old age cannot do anything that she couldn't uh, go out there to pick up recycles anymore. And then she just tried to have a little better good life before she died. She is the grandma, so I'm like my grandma too. Like I feel very close relationship to the old people because old people need something to eat need good place to stay, but you can see back there that her home, so uh, how can she live? But uh, I just do my best I can. I cannot uh, afford it so much because I got plenty bill here to pay too. If you guys see the video, want to uh, contribute and to help them out, please leave the comment. We will start from there, and I will connect you directly to see those two guys at Cambodia, and then if you want to meet uh, the real people that you help you sponsor, and you can do that too. 
And you know, I just navigate as a GPS to help all the people there, but I do myself too. If I have more money, I just donate more. It feels so good, you know. When you sleep, you're feeling good about giving away something and from your heart that you, if you earn money hard, like myself too, I have to work 10 hours a day, so it's hard to earn money, but we have to think like we have everything, mostly just, you know, so much, we don't even need them, but they eat to survive, but we eating to enjoy the food not eat to live, we live to eat. So it's so much different whatever we got here and whatever is over there, what they got, they are so poor. You can see a lot of widows that I share to all of you guys. You can see this and then you can uh, understand about it. If you have any question, please come in. And then thank you for your watching and thank you very much for your uh, support. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video upload every day at 6 p.m. at Central Time. And if you would like to, to help, please share this video to let the other people can see it too. And if they want to hey, help, you know, just they can. They just leave the comment and then we will start the prom there. It depends on $5 a few dollars, no matter what, and you guys can send directly to them and they will upload the video and for update uh, information, whatever who you want to help about their family. You can sponsor the kid go to school too. They are so poor. All right, thank you very much for you will like you and you guys have the wonderful days and enjoy the rest of the day. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.